What's going on guys? In this video today, I'm gonna to show you all how you can color grade your footage 10 times better using Adobe Lightroom instead of using Adobe Premiere Pro. So this process of color grading your footage in Adobe Lightroom is super easy. It's a few different reasons why I think that it's a lot more effective than using Adobe Premiere Pro. One of the reasons being the different hue adjustments that you can do to your colors in Adobe Lightroom. You have secondaries in Adobe Premiere Pro that you can adjust, but it's just a funky process and it just makes your colors look all freaking all over the place. So we're gonna go in Adobe Lightroom. I'm gonna show you all how to do this. It's gonna be a free process and it's gonna be super easy. So uh, let's just get into it. Let's hop into the computer. I'm right here and I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, the first thing that we're gonna need to do to start this process is we're gonna need a screenshot because we know Adobe Lightroom only is for photo editing. So uh, we'll scrub through our video. We'll find a screenshot that we like. I scrub through, I've already found a screenshot that I like. We're just gonna hit this button right here, export the frame, find where we want it to go hit okay i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again um so once you do that you're going to need to find the plugin uh in order for us to be able to create the let in adobe lightroom to bring back into premiere pro so um i'm just going to go into safari i'll leave a link down in the description for you all to go to uh this link right here this product is completely free you're going to find yourself here um but you have the option to pay what you want to pay so if you want to donate a dollar cool two dollars whatever um, and if you just want to get for free, that's fine as well. Just type in whatever you want to do, do by now, um, go through the process, download it, etc. Then you're going to install it or whatever. So um, after you go through the process and do all of that, this is the program that you're going to be at. So uh, this is what the LUT generator looks like um, to create the halls and the cubes in Adobe Lightroom. Um, and we're just going to open it. It's going to look like this. The first thing that we're going to need to do uh, is to create a hall. So We'll push this and we'll push generate hold. I've already done this process. Just find where you want the hold to go. Um, it's basically just gonna duplicate. It's just gonna create a PNG file uh, with different color information that's gonna be needed to create the LUT. So you find where you want it to go. You hit open. It's gonna save the hold to where you want it to go. So uh, we've done that process and now we're gonna head over to Adobe Lightroom. So we're here in Adobe Lightroom. Um, we're gonna hit library, we're gonna import, go find the screenshot that we just saved from Adobe Premiere Pro. I gotta find mine, so I'm not sure where it is. Um, I'm gonna uncheck all, and I'm just gonna scrub through, find a photo. This is my photo right here. I'll check this on and I'll include it in import. Just hit import. Wait for it to import. All right, cool, so we got our screenshot in. Go to develop and Here's where we're gonna start our color grading process, color correction as well, if you need to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna go through, make some minor adjustments, drop the shadows down, drop the blacks down. Um, I'm gonna up my blacks back up. I'm actually just gonna boost my saturation, up my blacks, up my highlights, up my whites a little bit. Up my contrast I think that looks good I'm not getting this perfect I'm just doing what I need to do so um, a few of the things that I love to do in Adobe Lightroom that you can do uh, in Premiere it's just a funky process is to do the hue adjustments um, so with hue adjustments you can basically shift colors to whatever tones and colors that you want them to be so uh, for instance in this particular shot this is a good shot because it has a good range of pretty much every single color you got pink right here in this guy's shirt you got blue on the tank top you got green in the background you got oranges uh hitting the skin tone so this is a perfect shot to demonstrate this for so uh say we wanted the greens to be more of a yellow tone we can just go down with, hit the q tab make sure we're in the hue tab and we'll just adjust the greens and as you can see if i boost that all the way up it'll make the greens more of a warmer tone than what they were originally if we wanted to make them cooler we can also shift them that way um this is like a sunset scene so i'm going to shift my greens more to that side we can hit the yellows and maybe we can shift that over to the orange side as well you can see it's it's just it's just such a better process so me personally i'm a person who doesn't really like deep blues i like my blues to more so lean towards the aqua side so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shift my blues maybe to like an aqua tone, not too unbelievable, but just a little bit, just the slightest bit, just the slightest bit. Um, and I think that that looks good right there in terms of hue adjustments. So we can hit the saturation tab and we can just adjust the different saturation for the different tones. Um, I'm gonna up the orange just to get our skin tones to pop a little bit more. I think that that looks good. Um, I'll probably up the greens a little bit, up the yellows. 
make those pop. Um, I'm trying to think of a color that I don't necessarily like in this that I can really take out. I'm actually going to take the saturation for the blues down just a little bit. I think that that looks good instead of having it all the way up. You can drop it down. We can do that. And like the different tone adjustments that you can do here is just so much better. You can even adjust luminance. Uh, one thing that you can't do with this plugin when you're creating a LUT is you can't adjust uh, your clarity, your spot um, adjustments. Um, basically, the only thing that you can do in here is just adjust colors. So uh, we can do luminous adjustments. If we wanted to crank the luminous up in the greens, we can do that to make those pop. We can crank the luminous up in the yellows. You can see like that just makes the background pop out so much more. We can up the luminance in the reds if we want. Maybe a little bit of luminance in the oranges. This makes the scene just pop out. So if you hit this button right here, you can see the original. Uh, and this is the color adjustments that we've done. And you can see right here, it just makes it pop so much more. We can go through, we can do split toning if we want. I'm not gonna do that. But another thing that I'm gonna show you all that I love uh, that you can do in Adobe Lightroom is you can do camera calibration. So uh, this just adjusts your hue for different tones. So an uh, easy and simple way to get the uh, the teal and orange color scheme in Adobe Lightroom is to just go down to your camera calibration and adjust the blue primary. So uh, if we shift it that way, you can already see uh, shifting us more towards that orange and teal. So if we go like that, that looks super cool. Um, you can see it's just giving us that orange and teal vibe. It's kind of adjusting our oranges to a weird tone. So we can just go back up to our saturation or our hue, I mean. And uh, we can see it's kind of shifting our oranges to that way. So if we just want to shift it back just to make our oranges a little bit more flatter, we can do that. Um, you know, we can go back down and we can boost it way back up again. And, you know, just go back and forth. That's all, that's all I like to do. I just like to go in, adjust different things, make different things go different ways. Um, and we can even get some tones and those shadows as well. So we will do split toning for a second. Um, maybe adjust the highlights a little bit find a tone that we like and we can just up and down the saturation of that tone so I'll up that I'll even put my shadows to that tone as well but I won't keep it as saturated I'll just drop it down just add in a little bit we can even adjust that to like a bluer tone as well that's too blue for me drop the saturation way down for that it's just so many different things that you can do in here so this right here is a cool little color grade like I said, this is the most perfect thing in the world. This is just me showing you all what you can do. All right, so let's say we've come to terms with ourselves that we love the color that we've created. We're ready to export it into a lot. Uh, if we right click on the folder, uh, if we right click on the photo, I'm sorry, in the develop tab, we'll go to settings and we'll just go to copy settings. And we're just going to make sure that every single thing that we've adjusted is copied. Um, some of the things won't matter because we didn't adjust them. Just make sure your basic tones, your color adjustments are in there. Um, and I mean, you could basically do everything as long as you didn't adjust anything just make sure you don't adjust uh the different things that you can't do like the lens corrections uh the clarity etc so we'll hit copy and then uh we'll go to library and we'll hit import if you didn't import your halt uh you'll hit import and then you'll find your halt and then you'll install it I already have a halt right here that i've um, been doing things too so i'll just reset that um like i said i already did adjustments to it so when you import your halt this is what you'll see um, you'll just see the hall, go to develop, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click, go to settings, and paste settings. Paste your settings on the hall. That looks good. And then you'll go up to file, and then you'll go to go up to export. And then you'll find a folder that you want to export the hall to. I'm just going to find my Lightroom tutorial folder. And this is right here. Click choose, export it and uh, make sure you export it to JPEG. So once you do that, you're gonna open back up the LUT generator um, program and you're gonna do convert to cube. You'll go through and you'll find where the second hall is that you save. I'm gonna find my Lightroom LUT tutorial folder again. And you can see because the different colors are different on it. So, uh, and it's also a JPEG. So this is the one we just created with the colors on it. We hit open and it's gonna say done. Your operator was completed successfully. So uh, we've created our LUT. So, Let's head back over to Adobe Premiere 
and uh, this is where we're going to import our LUT and do some minor adjustments that we may need to do to it. Before we get into the portion of importing and editing the LUT in Adobe Premiere Pro, I want to give a really quick shout out to the lovely people at Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform, so it's no need to install, upgrade, or patch anything ever. They have award-winning 24-7 customer support, so if you ever find yourself in a jam, just hit them up through the chat or email, and they'll hit you right back. Squarespace features domains, online stores, pretty much everything that you could ever need inside of an online website. So if you are interested in making your online presence a bit better with the website, head over to squarespace.com right now and start your free trial. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back into this. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. We got our LUT already exported. Uh, we're just going to import it in Adobe Premiere. And uh, I'm going to show you all how I go through and I do my different LUT adjustments because Exporting from Lightroom, it might make your LUT come on a bit strong and you know, just let's just come on strong in general. So uh, we'll go to browse and we'll find the LUT that we just created. Uh, where's my LUT uh, tutorial? And here's the LUT. You can change the name of it if you want to. Just go find the file on your hard drive or your computer. Um, but it's just gonna be the exact same name of whatever the haul is that you save. So this is the LUT right here. You can see it's the dot cube and uh, you can import it right here. And as you can see right here, uh, it's coming on a bit strong. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop the intensity down. I like the way that the tones on it look, though. Like, I'm not going to do, like, any tonal adjustments. I think that this looks fire, honestly. Um, so I'll drop that down to, like, around the 70 or so. Um, and I'm just going to chop off the different parts of me not moving so you all can see how this looks in motion. So you can see right there. Let's just um, let's do the... The generic LUT transition so um <laughs> we'll go to effects and we'll go to video transitions we'll go to what is it wipe and we'll just put a wipe on there so we can see uh the generic adjustment um from the clip with no LUT on it and to having a LUT on it so uh that's the raw we'll see the little wipe transition that we always do for the LUTs and you can see that looks fire man look how good that footage looks like you would, you would have such a hard time creating this in Lightroom because you can't really do hue adjustments. You can do secondaries, but secondaries just make your colors fall apart. So this is the reason why I think that Lightroom is definitely a better option for color grading your footage over Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you all enjoyed this video, if you all enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to drop me a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Appreciate you guys, man. Peace.